So we are uh, in West Philadelphia right now at um, our new bus um, for Me Without You. We lost our bus earlier this year. In British Columbia, right after our Vancouver shows, um, we had some loud clacking sounds coming out of the engine. There was just a bunch of engine problems. We heard some rattling in the back. We were spewing fuel. We were kicking out all kinds of smoke from the tailpipe. We were making loud sounds from the engine, just barely hobbled in. It was sort of leaking uh, oil or diesel, I can't even remember. And within a few hours, they gave us a diagnosis that the, uh, the repair was gonna be really more than the bus was worth. It was at that point when we were deciding whether or not we should keep or ditch the bus, and um, we decided to ditch it. Long story short, it was time to say goodbye to that bus. And we were going to do the rest of this uh, Canadian tour uh, just in a, a rider and a, an SUV. So we um, rented a box truck and a minivan, continued on with the tour. Aaron had the great idea that we should check Craigslist for um, buses to buy. Well, we happened to find one uh, for an incredibly low amount of money, way lower than you might expect for a 40 foot long charter bus. Uh, two of our guys, our tour manager and our friend who was out with us, uh, drove to um, a small town outside of Vancouver. The band was sent uh, on to the next show in Alberta. There was a church selling uh, a bus not too dissimilar from this. It was a manual transmission MC9. And myself and our driver went back to Vancouver, bought this, this bus in cash, and then met up with the band. They met us at the show in Calgary, I think, two days later. So now we, we left the old bus behind. We have a new bus that we're driving through Canada and we're testing it out and it's a, it's a five speed. That bus was uh, in fantastic condition and we got it for a great price. The main problem was that it was manual transmission and most of the guys in our crew don't drive manual and they didn't want to learn on a 40 foot bus. So we got home, we decided we we're going to now sell off this vehicle from Vancouver. And we went and search for uh, a bus with an automatic transmission, which we found in North Jersey um, for a really good price. In fact, it was much cheaper than all the other comparable buses on the market. Mike and Aaron went out and found one, I think, in Mount Carmel. We went and took it for a test drive. The transmission shifted great, the engine was strong, so we bought it. Everything was great. It was running smooth, it was, it was beautiful. It was another incredibly cheap vehicle. So we bought it on the spot, not giving it a full, thorough inspection. So we have three vehicles, so we need to, we need to get rid of two of them. Uh, that was until we found out that there was significant rust with the third one. And once they took the wheels off and we could see the condition of the rotors and the brake drums and see the chassis underneath, there was more rust than I had de detected in my initial quasi-inspection. So this bus that we had just bought for really cheap turned out to be cheap for a reason. Which meant that we needed to go buy a fourth one. So that time around, I didn't have the mindset where I was trying to get a bargain. You know, I just wanted to get a solid bus. And that's where this bus came, came our way.
Well, it's time for us to leave for the tour and we're not finished as you can see. Flooring is done, uh, the cabinet framing is all done and installed, and most of the walls are up. The receptacles and the lighting is all run, not totally, but enough that we can see and get power. We've got all the bunks up. A lot of the guys are laying down and right now. It's around two in the morning. Now yeah, we've been working a long time. A bunch of exposed wiring in the back lounge. <laughs> it's totally not done at all. We didn't finish it. Oh my gosh, almost anything. Nothing's finished. Even the things that are finished aren't finished. So, you know, within a couple days, it's gonna be looking a lot better. And then I think by the end of the tour, it's gonna to be almost finished. That's my, that's my thing. So with all this, um, of course, we, we, we have a great debt of gratitude to all of to everybody who gave us money, chipped in when they heard our bus broke down. I don't know how to say thank you enough to everybody who did that. And even the people who didn't, who have been encouraging in other ways, but obviously this costs a lot of money, all the materials and you know, the just buying the bus and then all the rehab process is still going. Thank you very much, I guess. I'll look right at you for that. Thank you for that. It's very kind of you.